Hi there, my name is Matthew Fitt and I'm absolutely delighted to be in the Echiku book of Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales in Scots. A lot of reasons for this, but one of them is that I had a Danish uncle. And when I was a wee laddie, he used to come to visit us in Dundee with his own bairns, my cousins. And if it wasn't a freezing, we would go across to the beach at uh, Kinshalde or Tentsmuir and he had out. And I was mind my uncle would stand there looking across the water, all sort of proud and everything. And he'd say, hey, Matthew, what's over there? I said, I don't know, the waves, some fish, back in. Denmark, that's what he'd say. Denmark's over there. And they went, ah, he's Havern, no, no chance. And we got him, we'd look at a map and see that Scotland and Denmark were uh, just the North Sea separated us. And so he was right. And every time I'm in that part of Scotland, I look across the water and I think to myself, Scotland and Denmark are near as far away from each other as you think. Danish writer Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Tin Soldier in Scots, or a bit of it anyway. Tin soldiers, ya beezer! The wee laddie cried out when he arrived up in the birthday present. He teamed the soldiers out of their box, they wore brightly painted red and blue uniforms and all looked the same, apart from one soldier. The man who had made them had run out of tin, so the last soldier only had one leg. He's lost his leg, then his duty, the laddie's feather tell him. You're his general now, and you should be proud of him. That yin's a hero. The tin soldier was about bursting with pride and awe, so he didn't let on. Gird the palace, the laddie general commanded, and he set the soldiers up in a line before the palace that stood on the table. The palace was off a ground. It sat aside a loch made out of glass, with toy swans swimming about in it. The front door was wide open, and in the porch, a totty wee dancer made out of paper stood posed on one leg, with the other leg held out a hint her, as if she was dancing in Swan Lake. Her clothes were made out of bonny white muslin with a blue ribbon over one shoulder. In front of her, a tinsel rose skinkled, and it seemed as though she was raxing out to touch it. For what he was stunning, the tin soldier couldn't see the other leg stretched out a hint her. He thought she just had the one leg, same as him. Yeah, boy, that's the way for me, thought the tin soldier. I kind of mean like a soldier, but maybe there's hope for me yet. 